Hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. It's been the request of one of my viewers uh, to do a quick tutorial on focus stacking and uh, this is what I want to show you today. Focus stacking is uh, a digital method uh, which combines several images, all of a different focus into one final image which has all parts of the image in focus. Now one of the problems uh, with uh, micro, uh, microscopes is, is that uh, it has a very, the microscopes have a very narrow depth of field. This means that it's uh, quite likely that that uh, if, an, uh, if a specimen is a little bit thicker, that it's not possible to have all, spar all parts of the specimen in focus, so you have to focus back and forth, and then the focus changes all the time. Um, but sometimes you wanna have an, a picture which has all parts in focus, and so what you have to do is you have to do this focus stacking method, and the program that I'll be using today is called uh, Picolet, which can be downloaded for free. And I'm just going to quickly show you how to do a quick stack. The program itself is very um, elaborate, has many features and, and functions and parameters to adjust. I'm not going to go into that detail. All I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick focus stack so that uh, you can, can very quickly try it out um, as well. So first of all um, I've used a small microscopic shell um, as an example and uh, right now you can see that it is not possible to have all parts of the shell in focus. I have used my compound microscope here and I've used uh, my four times low power objective um, and I've used epilumination so I simply put uh, the desk uh, my desk lamp um, over the specimen and uh, you can see that uh, it's uh, as I'm focusing back and forth it's not possible to have all parts of the image in focus. So the first thing that you have to do is, is that's basically step one is you have to take a series of, of images all of a different focus and what you have to take care of is, is that the first image um, is uh, at the very top of the specimen okay as at the very top of the specimen in focus and then you always turn the focus a little bit and then you progress further down and you kind of uh, um, until you've reached the bottom part of the image. So you have a, a, a whole range of let's say 25, 30, 40 different images depending on how thick your specimen is and all of them are sequentially numbered that is really important and all of them are arranged in such a way that the top the, or the first image is uh, has the top part in focus and the last image has the bottom part in focus. Now in my case I um, made a mistake and I unfortunately did it the other way around but the program Piccoli allows you to reverse the order and I'm gonna show you how to do this as well. So this is what you get when you start the program and on the top left uh, this is where you can add the images. You press Control A and you open uh, the images uh, that you want to stack together and uh, then you click uh, you select them first you click open and uh, in my case the images are unfortunately reversed uh, they are um, in the wrong order so I have to reverse them and the program is able to do that by going to the menu um, image list and then reverse order of images because the top image should be the one that is in focus at the very top of the specimen um, and then by clicking uh, on it you can uh, again uh, control and check uh, the images. We take the default uh, parameters so we just go to stack operations and stack with current parameters um, and when you do that uh, then you have to wait uh, for a few minutes. Um, this does take some calculation time depending on how fast your computer is and now I'm just fast forwarding this a little bit so that uh, the video becomes a little bit shorter and the stacked final image is then saved in the same subdirectory of the original images and on the left side you can see the so-called depth map um, and this means that uh, you can see the different colors the blue parts are all those parts Parts that are um, further back and uh, the, on the right side you can see the stacked image and this one is automatically saved. Just going to show you something else now if you click 3D view you can also uh, make certain three-dimensional adjustments for stereoscopy so rocking GIF that's what I want to just show you and um, you click go you have to wait again uh, several minutes and it will make a GIF uh, an image uh, that uh, moves back and forth like this giving also a three-dimensional impression. Um, there are also other uh, stereoscopic uh, parameters that you can adjust but I just wanted to show this to you very quickly uh, because I think those rocking GIFs are very uh, popular and uh, convenient to post uh, online. It's just an image that moves back and forth. This is now the original stacked image, not a very uh, contrasty um, and then what I've done is, is in Photoshop I've improved it a little bit and this is how it looks then in, in 
Photoshop after I've uh, increased the contrast a little bit. Um, I recommend uh, that you read the instructions of Picolet on the uh, website. Everything is uh, very well documented. As I already mentioned, it's a very extensive program, uh, so you have to take your time going through the whole program. And so in any case, I wish you all the best. Uh, have a nice day. Happy microbe hunting and bye-bye. <laughs>